So now we will move on to the Levin's three stage model. This is also another important model, but a very simple model. So Levin finds, uh, Levin says that empires usually resist to any kind of change. It's because incompetence for new work, they don't know what is the new work. They have a perception that it might, the change might lead to additional work. They fear that their jobs might be lost. They feel that their routine activity is being changed. They don't know what is going to happen in the future. There is a kind of unhealthy communication like gossips, rumors are like spreading. There is a feeling that they might lose their organizational power and position or they simply don't trust the management what they are telling. So what should we do when employees are resisting to change? See, Levin says, even though they are resisting, we have to change them. So how? He has a three-step change model. So if you guys really like the video, put a like for us and share it with your friends who might find it useful. So if you guys have any queries or questions, post it in the comment section. We will be like happy to answer them. So the first one is called as unfreeze, change, refreeze. In unfreeze, he says, determines what needs to change, find out what is going to be changed, ensure there is strong support from management. So management must give a very good strong commitment to this. Create the need for change. Tell the employees why they have to change, what is the benefit of it. Manage and understand the doubts and concerns. If the employees have some kind of a doubt in their mind, clear that doubt. See, if you go to the previous slide, most of them are perceived or employees think that this might happen. It's not that it has happened or will happen. They think it will happen. So most of them are only doubts. So once we can effectively communicate what is going to happen, if you tell them jobs are not going to be lost, job is, the work is not going to be more, you, there is only little training that you have to undergo, don't worry, we are always holding your hands. Okay, If you are going to tell them and communicate with them effectively, you can overcome most of these resistance. So once you have unfreezed, once people are, people are ready to change themselves, employees are ready to change themselves, then make the change. Communicate often, keep on telling them why the change is required, why they have to change, how things are going to get better, tell them. If there is any rumor, always be very clear that there should be no rumor. Empower action, to so encourage the employees to change Okay, and whatever uh, change they are doing, uh, give them some kind of a support, involve people in the process, for any change process, ask people ideas about how to make the change. So involve the employees in the change process, so that they are also, they feel that they are part of it. And last one is, once everything has been changed, refreeze, anchor the changes into the culture, so once they have modified their behavior, ensure that the new behavior stays, develop ways to sustain the change. Create some kind of uh, support packages, something like uh, increase the salary or a performance uh, benefit in for uh, for ensuring that they are uh, committing to the new process or provide support and training. Celebrate success. If the reason for what the change is told has been achieved, the employees should celebrate it with the management. So this is about Levin's three-step change model. So he also says something called as a Levin's force field analysis. What Levin says is, if there is a genuine reason for changing the company, ensure that these forces gain momentum and these forces are lowering their power. Okay, So somewhere this, this side of power should be encouraged, so they push and this side of power should be effectively discouraged, so that this side becomes weakens. Okay, So that's what Levin force field analysis indicates. So if you guys really like the video, put a like for us and share it with your friends who might find it useful. So if you guys have any queries or questions, post it in the comment section. We will be like happy to answer them. If you guys have any other ideas for further videos, uh, you can put it in the comment section. We will be like uh, creating a new video on that topic also. So thank you guys. We will meet in the next video.